Welcome to Savannah, a beautiful little city in the deep south filled with rich history and good old southern charm. Founded in 1733, the city is peppered with parks, monuments, and squares that paint the picture of this once colonial capital. From pirates to patriots, ghosts to Girl Scouts, Savannah is filled with neat things to see and stories to be told. And Hollywood would agree, seeing as how Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil was shot here, as well as Forrest Gump. I hustled over to Forsyth Park and found the sentient bean. Not only was my soy latte yum and my eco karma rewarded, the vegan sandwich they whipped up for me was one of the tastiest I've ever had. They created a magical feast on bread that made my mouth and tummy do cartwheels. A hipster place located by the big, pretty park and next door to a natural food market, the Sentient Bean is a must visit for food, refreshments, and even indie film nights. After lunch, our concierge hooked us way up, getting us a trolley ride on Old Savannah Tours. The tour takes you all around town and they stop at all the major landmarks and tell you great stories about the history and all the wonderful things that have happened in Savannah since its inception. Here I am at Lady and & Sons and I happen to be standing next to the Savannah Sweetheart. This cute three-floor diner is Paula Deen's place and it is always packed. So packed that the people stand in line every morning at 9 a.m. to just make a reservation for that day. Okay, so what can a vegan eat at the self-proclaimed Butter Queen's Palace? The Shonuff vegetable sandwich, minus the cheese, was a hit for me. It was between that and the asparagus sandwich. I of course had to have some sweet tea and was told that at dinner, the chef prepares a kickin' veggie place for us non-meaty meat eaters. And P.S. They offer a gluten-free menu as well. Among the many tours in Savannah, including the Old Savannah Tours, the Ghost Tours, there's a Paula Deen tour as well as the foodie tours that take you around town tasting all the lovely treats that Savannah has to offer. We have tiny uh, nets, and our tour delightful. guide is great. She's so funny. I'm always down with a good pizza and it sounded great before we headed out on our cold evening ghost tour. I was stoked at how awesome the mellow mushroom was. I could have rolled through town after my vegan tortilla soup and my barbecue tofu and veggie pizza. They didn't have soy cheese, but the pizza was great without it, and it seemed like a happening family place, as well as a fun joint for the art school crowd. I dug it, and so did my regular pizza eating honey. For menus and locations across the South, check out the Mellow Mushroom online. Being as how we were in one of the most haunted cities in America, I had to indulge in a ghost tour. This ghost tour was also run by Old Savannah Tours and took us all across the city in the evening for a bus and walking tour of some of the scariest, most haunted sites in Savannah. From Holmes to the Pirate's House, I saw some pretty wicked stuff. And as you can see, I'm kind of showing somebody what I found in my camera. For an organic chic meal, head over to Chabella. It's Savannah's answer to trendy, seasonal dining with a little stylish, shabby chic to go with it. Make it a point to take the 1980s limo ride to Corleone's, a Godfather-themed restaurant in the heart of Savannah with some great Italian food, and they are very, very health and vegan friendly. We spent a lot of time between the riverfront and the historic areas, so finding a place to eat in the middle of all that was no problem. Definitely try the cafe at City Market, Belfords or Tapas on Julian Street in City Market. Just try everything once except incest and folk dancing. I can't rave enough about Savannah and I'm so looking forward to some more ghost hunting and eating in this charming city in the South. See you next time on the Healthy Voyager.